Welcome to Play Cool Guitar. This video is just a quick uh, demonstration of the different parts of an electric guitar. So, here is the body of the guitar, usually made of wood, and attached to that is the neck of the guitar. And at the top then we have the headstock. The strings, when they're put on the guitar, go through this bridge through the hole there and they come over the top of the bridge, over the saddle and they pass over the fretboard and over the nut where there are, there's a groove for each string and then they're attached to the machine heads on the headstock of the guitar. Other parts include the scratch plate here which is to protect the body from excessive use of the pick uh, we have two pickups, which each of which has six magnets, one magnet under each string, and the magnets are surrounded by a coil of wire that picks up the vibration of the metal string in the area of the magnet, and then it's connected with wire to the jack socket where the guitar lead goes from the guitar to an amplifier, and that's where it's converted back into sound using a speaker. So that's the, the basic principle of an electric guitar. Um, this is a pickup selector switch here. It selects between the two pickups. At the moment, it's attached, or rather, it's set in the bridge pickup mode. And because it's down by the saddle, it has a bright tone. Okay. Now, if I turn this button off, which is the tone control, it takes out the high and mid frequencies giving you a deeper sound. So so you can have a bright or warm sound by using the tone control. Here is the volume control for this pickup. And then if we change the pickup selector to the top, we switch over to the pickup which is by the neck of the guitar and that gives you a warmer sound because it picks up the sound from closer to the middle of the strings and away from the saddle. So here we have a much deeper sound. And if I turn this tone control on, we get a bit, of, a bit more brightness. So just by switching the pickup selector switch here, we can have control over our sound. I think that's pretty much all we need to know to get on with. Uh, in the next video, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what an amplifier does, and then you can experiment with the sounds of your guitar and the amplifier to get the sound you want. See you in the next video.